what we have here is a sample of two small wings. Actual aircraft construction, very similar metal construction and fiberglass construction. They're both the same weight and the same size and provide the same aerodynamic function. Notice the uh, aluminum one has a, a myriad of stress concentrations. Very low stress in this area and then high concentrations where rib loads dump into the spar and where rivets are. The composite full core moldless construction like we use in the home built is very uniformly loaded. It doesn't have any ribs or indeed it has one rib that runs from here to here. It's a full solid core of rigid foam. It's uh, very, very stiff. It doesn't deform under loads. And more importantly, it's very uniformly loaded. The core does not have traps for water to get into. It doesn't corrode as easily as this. It holds its shape better. And it is stronger. We're going to just put it down here and leap up on top of it and show you what, uh, what, what happens when it's overloaded. Okay? Ready? <coughs> the metal one not only failed the spar, but it failed the skin. Under loads, it's, it's very, uh, it's very uh, uh, weak. It's very susceptible to fatigue. The fiberglass one, on the other hand, can take extreme overloads. Extreme overloads. And they're both the same weight. Notice the aluminum where the spar ended at this point and went to a lighter spar is where we had a spar failure. Notice also that we have skin failures, wrinkles, buckles, ribs, rivets popped out. Uh, in general, a lot of deformation going on that's permanent. Uh, in general, the composite takes much higher loads, even though it's the same weight, takes much higher loads without any permanent deformation and without any loss of its aerodynamic qualities. The, uh, the composite is extremely, extremely strong. For the same weight, it's a considerably more durable, considerably uh, uh, stronger structure. In general, the composite allows the builder to make a spar that smoothly decreases its thickness instead of more abruptly like you have when you're stuck with various material sizes that have to be riveted uh, together. The composites also are considerably better for corrosion. If you take and dip this whole assembly in salt water, for example, uh, you would totally destroy the structural integrity of the aluminum within just a, within just a few uh, hours, actually. In a salt water environment, both of these structures uh, expose similarly you would ruin the metal and not damage the fiberglass at all. The fiberglass does have to be protected from ultraviolet radiation with appropriate paints and ultraviolet barriers. 